Welcome! We just saw the official reveal of the new operators for Operation Blood Orchid. In this video, I will go through the now official news and also the official gameplay from the reveal and I will also break down for every operator how to best use them, how to counter them and what they are extra useful against. We start up by Lesion. He will start with only one mine but will get up to 7 cloaked mines if he lives to the end of the round. He will get a new mine every 35 seconds and the attackers can't see them. As we even heard Ubisoft say themselves, Lesion is here to counter especially Ash and other free speed operators to slow down the attackers. He also see an icon on top of his mines so if someone walk into them or just shoot them away he can see that that icon will disappear so he can locate where the attackers are. Here you can see the gameplay how it looks when the attackers step on the mine. When this happens you can't run, you can't plant the diffuser and you will lose health over time. But the attackers can remove the poison dart from the leg but under that animation they are vulnerable to defenders since they must lower the weapon and can't fire back. Here you can also see his loadout that includes a shotgun with a silencer and a very cool SMG. As gadgets he can shoot between the impact grenade and the shield. So how do you use Lesion the best? Play defensively with him. Since you get more mines the longer they are alive, you're more useful to your team if you have, for example have been able to place 4 or 5 mines than just 1. The effect of the mines is also more useful at the end of the round if the attackers do a late push since you will slow them down when they already only have limited time left. Also very important to communicate well with your team when playing Lesion. Since you have those icons and you see if someone stepped into your mine, so then you both have intel where the attackers are coming from that your team will need but also it would be a good opportunity for if you have a teammate close to that mine to go kill them off when they are slowed down, have poor visuals and need to pull that dart out of the leg. Legion is very useful against high speed rushing attackers, for example Ash, IQ, Hibana and Capitao who all are free speed operators. He's also very useful against Montaigne and Glass pushes because if Montaigne walks into it he will have to lower his shield making him exposed. Also, if Glass walks into it when he has smoked a room trying to clear it with his thermal scope, he can no longer look through the scope so he can't see you either when he's in that smoke. Legion is best countered by IQ who can spot them, Thatcher who will destroy him with his EMP and the Twitch drone that can remove them also. If we move on to Jing, this is the operator that will affect the meta of the game the most I think. She has 3 candelas and they are extremely useful. She can throw them or she can roll them or she can mount them on a wall and send them in almost like Fuse does. It also have a timer so she can time them just right and on top of that she is immune to her own flashes so she can flash a room and then jump in and clear it. Here you can see her loadout, it's the same shotgun at Legion but without a silencer. Then she also has a LMG with 80 bullets so you can kill off multiple defenders when you have flashed them in objective. How to play Ying? Ying will change the way you take the objectives. So you don't want to go down by a spawn pick and get killed early in the round here. It's important to have her alive when it's time to make your push to the objective. So she should not go first and pick the corners on your way to objective unless she uses her candelas to clear rooms. Then she can throw a candela in the room, clear it and then after she cleared it her teammates can follow up behind. Then it's super important with timing and communication. So as you can set the timer on Candela, you need to communicate with your teammate so they don't get flashed when it's time to make the big push at the end. So if you look at what Jing is extra useful against, she is extra useful against teams that place a lot on the objective or at least that place several people in the same room. She is also very useful against Jaeger's ADSs because if she mounts one to the wall and floods the room with flashbangs, basically all Jaeger ADSs will go she can also be used to play pretty aggressive, as you see example of here, where you clear room to room, because if you know, for example, that they are playing in another room, just throw it in and just follow up behind it, and that way you can clear the way to the objective also. And remember she has three of them, so you can clear a few rooms with her. If we then look at what will counter Jing, you can shoot them. For example, if she throws them or rolls them into the objective, you can shoot them. Also, if you throw or roll them in, the Jaeger ADS will catch the whole candela, or if you mount it on the wall, it will remove the individual flashbangs as they come in. It will try to destroy as many of the individual flashbangs it can. 
Barbed wire will slow down the candela so it's easier to shoot for defenders. And if you have a bandit battery so the candela hit a wall or barbed wire with electricity in, it will be destroyed. Then last but absolutely not least, Ella, the Polish defender. She will have four proximity mines that she can throw and then they will stick to the wall. She also have one extra that she can use when she is downed. The mines will detonate as soon as the attacker is close to it and giving them a dizzy effect almost like Echo's drone. You can see an example here from the gameplay. Here you can also see her loadout. She will carry a shotgun and a great SMG and of course her pistol will have the red dot sight. As a gadget, she can choose between barbed wire and impact grenades. How to best play with Ella? She can be used as a very effective roamer since she is a free speed operator and she can combine that with the traps. So she can set up a trap, hide and as soon as the attacker detonates it, she can go quickly in for the kill on them. She can also be used as an anchor on the site where you throw them out later in the round when the attacker has already drawn it out, think everything's clear. And then as soon as they come into the objective trying to get the open frag, they will get dissed and you can shoot them out. Then if we look what Ella is especially useful against, she's very useful on bigger maps, we have a lot of opportunities to roam, like for example this new map, as an anchor against team who often do last minute pushes towards the objective, and against team that play with a lot of high speed operators such as Ash. How to counter Ella's mines then? Well, if you see them, you can shoot them away if you see them, for example if she put them on top of a door and you came from the other side of the map, you will see it and you can shoot it away. IQ can spot them, Fatch's EMP will destroy them, and the Twitch drone can destroy them. And if she by accidentally throw them against object with electricity in from a bandit battery, they will also get destroyed. What do you think about these three operators, and which one are you the most excited to start playing with? Let me know down in the comments, and I will be back soon with even more Rainbow Six Siege videos, so please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you don't already do, subscribe, and I will see you next time.